Hello Capricorn, AC Girl West Thesis, and I'm here today with another collective reading. For personal bookings, you can email me westthesis10 at gmail.com, and we can get into your personal situations from there. These readings are general, so put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Um, I already showed my cards, bless my cards, and bless my reading. This is a love reading from June 15th to June 30th for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's hop into it, my loves. Let's see what's going on in love for you from June 15th to June 30th. Love for Capricorn from June 15th to June 30th. Love energy from Capricorn from June 15th to June 30th. We got the King of Cups in reverse coming out. The World in reverse coming out. Ooh. Oh, my cards just looked over here. And one fell on the floor. Give me a second. <clears throat> Two more cards for Capricorn. The Four of Pentacles in reverse coming out. With the Four of Wands in, re in the upright, sorry. Four Wands in the upright, Four of Pentacles in reverse, the World in reverse with the King of Cups in reverse out here. All right. Starting with the King of Cups, someone could be masking their emotions. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the world in reverse, I feel like that this person doesn't really want the relationship to end. With the world coming out in reverse, someone doesn't want it to be the end of the relationship, Capricorn, with you. Could be dealing with a water sign. Someone could be masking their emotions from you, not telling you their truths of how they feel. With this Four of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like that you could have let this person go, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming out. With this Four of Wands, there could be some twin flame energy surrounding you. This person could be talking to you telepathically, or you could be talking to them telepathically. Take it how it resonates, because that symbolizes that flute that this boy is playing. I don't know if you can see, because the light is kind of like in the way. But he is playing a flute in his card, and it symbolizes some type of um, energy that you two are transferring towards each other. 11, 11 energy, twin flame energy with the Four wands capricorn i feel like that you could have recently let this person go you could have recently cut this person off or told this told this person that you were done and messing with them some way somehow i feel like that you spoke your truth towards this person you were tired of playing games and you want you want it out of this contract that you have with this person and this person has felt your energy capricorn with this king of cups coming in reverse um, with this King of Cups in reverse, this person, they are very well emotionally tied to you. They could very well be in their emotions when it comes towards you, Capricorn. I feel like that this person, they have a good way of masking their emotions. The King of Swords coming out in reverse. Mm -hmm. This person, they're very in denial with the connection that when it comes to you, Capricorn. That's why this person can't make a decision with the King of Swords about who they want to be with. With this Hierophant in reverse, it shows that this person also has a lack of discernment. With the higher fan coming in reverse, you know, it's a lack of knowledge and wisdom that this person has. This person, it feels like that this person, they're so committed. Yeah, three of swords in, the, in reverse. This person, they're so committed to being their own, um, let's say, God. Let's say that. Their own God, this person, they don't take rules from no one. So, in the spiritual sense that this person, they lack a lot of spirituality sense. And, you know, spirituality is a part of discernment. So, you know, this person, they don't really have a third eye. King of Swords in reverse. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be dealing with an air sign. With this three of swords in reverse, this could symbolize a third party. Maybe this person was with another particular person. Or you had another um party. You know, King of Swords out here, King of Cups out here, two kings. Maybe you had another, another third party. That's why you could have let the King of Cups go. And you got with the King of Swords, take it how it resonates. Or this person had another um, individual in the mix. Now, with this three of swords in reverse, this person, they do have this thing where they try to um, cover up or they try to cover up separate things. So, let's say you and this person have a separate connection. They try to cover up with saying that they're not heartbroken about it, but this person, they most certainly are. Because the king of cups in reverse, he's very well, very emotional at the moment, but he's masking it. So, this person, when it comes to the connection with you, they're very well, um, let's say, they don't want people to know is that you have hurt them dearly let's just say that this person they feel abandoned by you or rejected by you you know with this king of swords reverse we already know like i said this person they lack a lot of discernment so i'm pretty sure you had your reasons for um disconnecting yourself from this person it feels like that you no longer wanted to be in a contract with this person 
Yeah, five of, five of swords in reverse. Yeah, this person, they're very well an all-talk, no-action person. They very well, in the past, could have put you through a lot. Like I said, this four of wands energy with this five of swords coming under it in reverse, it feels like that, you know, you're you're over, you know, all the past, he say, she say. Because the five of swords is like, kind of like conflict, but mentally, you know? Mental conflict. So this person with this three of swords by his side and this five of swords, it feels like that this person, they know why you could have separated yourself from them. They know why, you know, um, you kind of don't want to deal with the connection or them anymore. Like I said, they try to cover up their severed connection. So anything that goes wrong in this person's life, they say, oh, it was that person. Oh, it was them. But this person deep down inside knows that they are the ones that could have jeopardized this relationship, you know? And they could be telling you this telepathically. Maybe this person talks to you in a 5D. They could be telling you this in a 5D. I don't feel like that you're oblivious to this. I just feel like that, you know, you're very well tired of the connection with this person. Because with this four of pinnacles and reverse, that gives me your energy towards Virgo Capricorn Capricorn. So yeah, it gives me the energy that you no longer want to be connected, tied to, or held down by this person. But you are this person. They, they, I feel like an irritation level, but it's only because this person they can't make their own decisions, and that that irritates you. Yeah, devil in reverse, you know. So you try your hardest to stay away from it, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you try you try your hardest to stay away from it. And that came out with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there could have been a third party. This person, they can't make their own decisions. It feels like that this person, they could be very well tied to a third party. We got the Three of Cups out here with the Three of Swords in reverse. With this Three of Cups, with this Devil in reverse, your Three of Cups it is about reconciliations as well and, you know, um, celebrations. But in reverse, it's like that's not coming together with this Devil energy. And you could, like I said, you know why. And I'm pretty sure it's something very... Serious to you, but this person, like I said, they don't really have a third eye. This, whatever that this that this person could have did to you in the past, Capricorn could have activated some type of uh, ancestral agony. Yeah, with the moon in reverse, it could have definitely awakened some type of ancest as ancestral agony. You know, something that you know happened to your ancestors and it happened to you. You know, and you know bloodlines this and the third you know we're not gonna get into it into that but that could have happened with this high priestess in reverse though with this moon in reverse it feels like capricorn you probably well don't know all about a third party as much as that you think that you do that could be an issue you probably think that you know a lot about a third party but you really don't know half of it high priestess in reverse with the three of cups in reverse with this moon in reverse you know enough but you don't know the whole story is what they're telling me mm-hmm so let's clear for this King of Cups in reverse, please. Clear for this King of Cups in reverse, please. We got two coming out. We got the Chariot in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We got three coming out. Hmm. So yeah, this person, they very well want success with you. That's an emotional tie that they will have with you. Ten of Pentacles, they want success with you. They want love with you. But with this Ten of Swords, the emotional tie that they also have is that it's over. Ten of Swords, you know? The Ten of Swords, that's an end to a situation. So this person, like I said, they could be very well hurt that you could have left the situation. And they could also be very well hurt that they could have not had this Ten of Pentacles energy with you. A home, a family with you. You know, a, a very loving, very successful relationship with you with this chariot and it's because this person they never put in the effort or the work or the work to do that the chariot is all about thriving cancerian energy this person right now they aren't thriving they're very well depressed i feel a depressed energy and a very well sadness energy coming from this person capricorn from from you walking away from this person let's clarify for this three of swords please clarify for this three of swords please got one coming out we got the strength in reverse. Yeah, I told you they try to cover up separate connections. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles. They could try to cover up by materialism or they could be a, um, a shopper. You know, sometimes when people get hurt, they go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they try to cover up several connections with uh, materialism or new gain, you know, but it, it, it very well hurts them. You could be dealing with a Leo, strength energy in reverse. It very well hurts them to see that, um, you know, you walking away from this person and whatever happened in the past, it hurts them as well. You know, you're not the only person hurting from this connection, Capricorn. But with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, that is Capricorn energy. This person, it could also be very in denial about getting you back. I feel that energy as well. Very in denial about getting you back. Very in denial about, you know, building with you. Ace of Pentacles out here. I feel like that this person, they um, like like a wishing on a lucky star type energy is what I'm getting. 
Give me one more call on this Three of Swords. They could be also wishing for you, praying for you, Capricorn. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles coming out here. Satisfaction. Yeah, this person may try to cover up the several connections by materialism, material gain, and maybe a new a new opportunity. But it hurts them down to the court down to the core. This person they also could be financially stable. This person Capricorn or you could be financially stable. Take it how it resonates. You could be financially stable. You could be getting new things and maybe this person could be seeing that on a type of social media platform or this person is financially stable but they're like lacking without you. So yes, Capricorn, that has been your love reader for June 15th through June 30th. It's your girl, West Tisas. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, go to my other videos. You might like those as well. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you have been here for a while, thank you for being here with me again. I love you lots. It's your girl, West Tisas. Bye.